I've, I've had Musi Maimani here of Bosa. I've had Bongani Baloi here of Shiluba. And I asked them both the same question, and I'd like to pose the same question to you. It's a very flat question, and I'd like to hear your frank answer. Do you believe the Democratic Alliance is a racist party? Something is uh, definitely to, uh, not right, and I think uh, I, I can blame myself that I never really saw it from outside. I think it was a desperation for me to vote for the for the DA at the time after I felt betrayed by the by the DA. There was no party to vote for, and I had to vote really for someone mm -hmm. who can uh, uh, remove uh, um, uh, the ANC. Yeah. And uh, and I asked, and that's when I started voting for the, for the DA, including when they asked me to be the mayoral candidate. I, really and strongly believed that uh, they meant well. I mean, yeah. at that time, remember, Musi Maimani was, was their leader. And I thought, Correct. let's go and help. It's well and good. I can complain at dinner parties, but at the end of the day, uh, that's not what's going to solve the country's problem. And uh, I'm now a living example, living yeah. example. I don't know if you read Michael's book, uh, The Accident, uh, the Accidental, the Accidental Mayor. Mayor. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you read that book. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, the, uh, the DA uh, to have an issue with me uh, providing services to poor communities, yeah. as I've indicated to you. And I, and I look at um, the areas in the Western Cape. I look at Kailich, I look at um, Google Gooks, and I look at the colored areas in 1985. Mm -hmm. And all the years in the 80s, and I look at them today. Yeah. They're worse than uh, the way during yeah. apartheid in terms of uh, service delivery. Yeah. And in the in, uh, to, when I was not in politics, I thought perhaps uh, the DA they've just taken over from the ANC mess and and uh, and its budgetary uh, constraints. constraints. No, it it is deliberate. Uh, the uh, the DA does not want to provide services uh, to poor communities. They've uh, they rejected that with me. Mm -hmm. uh, they rejected that uh, with me, but luckily, because um, I'm I'm not a pushover, um, I decided uh, to say, look, uh, I'm going to provide services uh, to everyone. Yeah. At, at, you know, at, whether the DA likes it or not. And, and I said to them, guys, one thing that you must understand: I'm I'm not running a DA government. I'm running a multi-party government yeah. supported by uh, other parties, including the EFF. Yeah. So I'm not running a DA government. So please, um, uh, I think, don't really try your luck on me. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, Helen Zeller um, to manage uh, to uh, um, to get the IRR to facilitate uh, meetings with the ANC. And uh, while they were having, still planning this uh, mm. uh, this um, uh, uh, plan, uh, someone tipped me about it. And I called Musi uh, with evidence and said, Musi, there's a plan, you're a, uh, you're a leader of the party. Helen Zill is not even in FedEx. He's having meetings uh, with the ANC to have a motion of no confidence. And here's the proof, you deal with it. And uh, Musi- Fe FedEx Musi, being the uh, federal executive? Yeah, okay. she, was, she was not even the federal, yeah. Musi never failed to deal with the matter and I uh, decided to expose it myself. And then when and I'm said to remember what the, the press statement I released, I said if Helen Zeller is brought back into this, I will never forgive because one thing for sure, uh, uh, panel, please don't double cross me mm. because I'll never double cross anyone. Mm. Uh, that is why people think I'm a dictator. Some uh, <laughs> because uh, if I become a dictator if you you, you double cross me yeah. because I'll never double cross my. Uh, yeah. I've been taught it's in my uh, DNA. Um, uh, what you see is what you get. Yeah. So please don't double cross me because I'll never double cross uh, anyone. But, uh, I've been taught uh, this uh, by my family. So, so when uh, when I learn about this, uh, I said uh, when Helen comes back. Remember, I I, uh, I won South Africa. I think about a month before Helen was elected to say if this right wing uh, elements come back to take the DA, I'm out. Hmm. They thought I was joking. Insti uh, Institute of Race Relations, the IRR, and you they say were, the they DA played. They played. They were the facilitators. Colluded, of the DA colluded with the ANC to they, try and get. They R R R was the one uh, facilitating this meeting. Did you have a good relationship with the EFF? And if yes, uh, why not consider joining the EFF? 
or not. I mean, uh, the EFF economic policies uh, and Herman Mashaba honestly is like uh, water and, uh, and oil. I think uh, uh, EFF uh, the good partner at local government level. Uh, good partner. I work at local government level. I worked with them. I, I, yeah. I, I, I can tell you in, in the three years I was the mayor of the city of Johannesburg and I said it open even during the press conference to announce my resignation that uh, if I look at all the seven parties, EFF was the most supportive. Okay. Was the most supportive. I, I don't have to really lie. Yeah. Uh, and I have no reason to, to lie. Uh, but can I go into government with EFF at national level, at policy level? And it's impossible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can imagine Herman Mashaba talking about uh, the government owning banks and uh, butcheries and construction <laughs> companies. And, nah, I think unfortunately their their policies. Because uh, you're a capitalist, uh, pure. In pure, it, it's in my blood. It runs in my, and in, in, in I believe in individual freedom. Yeah.